and welcome to my channel. If you guys like the intro, let me know by liking this video and then while you're down there, go ahead and complete the YouTube holy trinity of liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I was gonna say to this video. So today's video, you're gonna be watching me play with the new Desert Lux kit. I'm sorry, I kind of always mess up that name. I wanna say Deluxe Desert. And then that also makes me think of like Deluxe Dessert. I'm hungry, I'm sorry. The kit was actually a lot of fun to play with. Originally, this was supposed to be a YouTube short. I just wanted a scene of a backyard overlooking Oasis Springs, but you know, like the green dinosaur and the retro looking diner. And it was originally just supposed to be for a YouTube short. <laughs> and it turned into a two part video. That's right, this is part one of a two part video that was supposed to originally be a YouTube short. I am the queen of undecisiveness. Give me my crown. Anyway, <laughs> that is what you'll be watching. If you like chaotic, undecisive content, subscribe. I mainly do it in The Sims. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't stop me from loving The Sims. So let's just get on with this build. Let's go, trying to ramble for 15 minutes. Right, so we start off by me kind of trying to look at the background area. And that is where the idea is really born for just a backyard. So understand that when I am building this house, when I did these two little squares over here, it was just supposed to be a backyard. <laughs> This is actually one of my very first time playing with as much platforms as I play with successfully, successfully playing successfully with this many platforms. At the beginning, I just, I gotta say, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really know how to make all the shapes that I was imagining in my head. It's mainly things that I've seen other people do. And I kind of just wanted to see I kind of wanted to do it. So one of my, so one of the inspirations for this build was another YouTuber here called Miss Griffey. She did this beautiful tiny home with the Desert Lux kit. I'll link it down below. It's just, it's gorgeous. So it kind of inspired me. I was also inspired by a gallery, a gallery, a lot that I found on the gallery that had this specific kind of like dugout area for the fireplace that comes in the Desert Lux kit. But the version that I did for this one, it just, I kind of didn't like it. It's kind of hidden and tucked away and I just, mm, it's it's like forgotten back there. I also had a lot of ideas for this backyard. Like I wanted a, an eating area. I wanted a barbecue area. I wanted an area for the bar. I also wanted to do like a pergola. And I wanted to do so much for this backyard, but honestly, this lot size is just way too small. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was because of the Miss Griffey video. She did a tiny house and then I kind of wanted a tiny house too, but this was just a bad idea. I am thinking of doing another one that's a lot bigger. That way it gives me a lot more room to play in the backyard. Typically, I don't focus on the outside of the house. I'm more of like an interior decorator. <laughs> if you can't even consider me that, my room is super plain. But typically I don't focus on the outside of builds. I will typically just focus on the inside. But for this particular build, the backyard was the entire focus. So that was kind of a challenge for me. It was a bit of a challenge. It took me a couple of days to do it and something this small does not take me a couple of days. But because I'm so indecisive and when it comes to doing a layout or a plan, I try to think of everything and then it really just comes down to reducing everything down to to like a main idea. D does anybody else, does anybody else's brain work that way? Where like, I'll just have a ton of ideas in my head. Like I said, an eating area, uh, a pool. I wanted so much in this backyard. I kind of had to continue editing myself. I also wanted greenery in the backyard. Not exactly like bushes and flowers because this is a desert, but I wanted a ton of cacti and succulents and, and plants of that nature. Just because I, I personally feel like it looks really good in Oasis Springs, just cause you don't see it that often. I do end up adding a couple of bushes here and there, but in my mind, all I can think about is the water bill. You know what I mean? That water bill must be crazy. In the desert to maintain bushes. I mean, in my neighborhood to maintain bushes is a lot, you know? So I can only imagine in the desert. So to make up for my lack of not knowing what I'm doing, I end up adding a ton of platforms. <laughs> if you feel like there's too many platforms in this build, you let me know down below. You sound off. You say, girl, that's too much. You went too far. I personally don't mind the amount of platforms that I used for this build because 
it ended up working out somehow where I I can almost guarantee that I used all of the items from the deluxe. Oh my god, I can't say it. From the Desert Lux kit. God, I don't know why I find that so flipping hard. So the platform where the grill and the bar is in particular. Ooh, I racked my brain for that one. Uh, I ended up going on interest interest i ended up going on pinterest and i found something that kind of was an inspiration i'll link it down below as well i'll link um the pin i guess down below as well just so you can take a look at it it was really hard it was really hard to find inspiration for what i wanted to do and that was because i was trying to do too much okay that's why the big window that comes in the uh oh my god why can i not say it the big window that comes in the desert Lux kit do not put it in a tiny build don't put it in a tiny build if you struggle with layouts don't do it mm -mm. i promise you you'll regret it this wasn't supposed to be two parts, but I had to cut out all the times that I was actually inside the house because I do end up putting furniture. I tried to figure out some sort of layout inside the house and I'm sorry, it wasn't working. You're gonna see a little bit of it, but everything else is cut off because it just wasn't working. That big ass window, it just takes up so much space. For me, I kind of don't like where I put it because that's where the kitchen and the dining area is supposed to be just because it makes the most sense for this gorgeous door. We're moving on from that. You just don't get to see it. You get to see it in the next video. You'll see, you'll see my struggle. Another issue that I had was that I really wanted the pool to be enough for two floaties. That was supposed to just emphasize that this build is just for two little Cymbalarinos, maybe two like workaholic Sims that are finally taking a little bit of a vacation. They can rent this space out, they can relax, it has everything that they need. If they don't wanna cook, there's plenty of amenities just across the way. They can even walk to it if, they, if they're daring enough to go through the desert. Now, speaking of that desert area in their backyard, I didn't put a fence. I was going to put a fence or a bunch of bushes around the pool just because for me personally, if I'm gonna be in a pool and there's like no fencing, I'm gonna feel like people are looking at me. It just feels that way. So I wanted to have like a fence or a half wall that would give the pool area a little bit of privacy. And I kind of regret taking everything out. I ended up not putting a fence around the pool area and I don't know, I kind of regret it. Looking at it now, like what what's in the desert? Like maybe coyotes and stuff like that. Imagine a coyote just straight up going around your yard while you're in the pool. Terrifying, terrifying. It needs some sort of offense. <laughs> it needs... It needs a guard between desert animals and lizards, okay? Because if I'm going to be in the pool, like, I don't want little lizards going inside my pool and dying. So looking back, I would definitely put the half wall, not a fence, the half wall around this entire lot. It also looks like it goes with the, the lot itself. I should have kept it. Looking back, of course, in hindsight. I think the reason why I took down the half walls is probably because of the color. I didn't know if the color was nice or not, but I actually really like dark, sandy, camel kind of color. I really, really, really like it. I wish I incorporated it more, but I think I was just afraid that it's not, it's not a likable color. Does that make sense? Like other people wouldn't like this color. I like it, I don't give a shit. Why, why am I even worried about that? I did put half walls on all of the platforms so that also I was kind of like am I regretting this right now should I not be doing this but I do like the finishing touch I like the wood on the edge of everything I just think it looks really good and again I took down the fence I also did want like a pergola or some sort of area where you can get shade in the backyard I did also think about how in the backyard there is barely any shade back there. I did want like a pergola or something like that to at least provide some sort of shade. But if you're going into this backyard, most likely the only reason you're going into this backyard is to chill by the fireplace, which is the only shady area or go in the pool. Or you can even like sunbathe out here. But for the most part, I think whoever goes into this build, they're mostly gonna be inside because there's not a lot of shady areas in that backyard. I did want to also add a bunch of trees and things of that nature, but again, the maintenance for trees and bushes 
and things like that water wise would be a lot now another thing that you do not get to see a ton of is me decorating the house you'll see that in the next video i tried i kind of tried not to to do too much to the outside in the interior video but i couldn't help it the outside it needed help so we're just focused strictly on the backyard <laughs> for this video. The roof also ended up being quite a challenge for me because of the awning. The awning is straight. The roof was not. So it would make the awning to me look crooked. So I ended up making one of the roofs just a very plain platform roof as opposed to those two really cool looking roofs that I really enjoyed because I typically don't do roofs like that. But it just, it it made the awning look crooked. So I ended up changing the roof. If I see one of those hanging vines, tons of greenery, I'm gonna add it into my build. This one was really hard. I tried not to add too many bushes just because realistically it would be hard to maintain, but it's just that the color green looks so good. It looks so good in a build. So at this point, I'm just adding the finishing touches. I'm just making sure that the colors look fine. Again, I did try playing around with the inside a little bit. You do not get to see that. You are not privileged, okay? You have to subscribe and wait for part two if you want to see me struggle on the inside. But as much as a struggle as this was, it was so much fun. I've never really built a house like this. I don't build modern homes. I build homes that my Sims are gonna live in, that are functional, that provide whatever they need. So if they specialize in a particular skill, their house is built around that particular skill. I do like to decorate and I do like creating builds, but very rarely do I play around with it. You know what I mean? So normally I don't play with builds like this. My houses I feel like are really plain. This is the second time that I've tried kind of making an aesthetically pretty build and I just enjoy the process. It's really fun. It does force me to explore a lot more of what The Sims has to offer. Oh my God, not to mention, there is no custom content here. How didn't I mention that at all? I do not play with custom content. Oh my God, not once did I say it. So I don't know how I didn't say this at all, but I this was all EA items. I did not play with custom content at all. I think I wanna do it more. So, you know, hit that like button and subscribe because I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these. It, I think it's kind of crazy that at no point I mentioned that I didn't use any custom content. I am a custom content fiend. I use custom content all the time and not one thing in this build is custom content. It's all the way at the end of the video, at the end card, at that. <laughs> 